solve 3x minus 2y is equal to 10 and x plus 3y is equal to 7. These are two linear equations with two variables and so we will solve them simultaneously for the values of x and y. The first one is 3x minus 2y is equal to 10 and the second one is x plus 3y is equal to 7. I'll call the first one equation 1 and the second one equation 2. I'm going to use the substitution method here. I will make x the subject in equation 2. We can see from equation 2 we have x plus 3y is equal to 7. So if I make x the subject here, I'm going to have x is equal to 7 minus 3y. This is a new equation. Let's call it equation 3. Now I have x as the subject here. I made x the subject from equation 2 and so I will substitute x into equation 1. From equation 1 we have 3x minus 2y is equal to 10. But we now know that x is equal to 7 minus 3y. So I will replace x in equation 1 with 7 minus 3y. When we do that we are going to have 3 times 7 minus 3y x here is 7 minus 3y which is a binomial and I'm multiplying 7 minus 3y by 3 so I have to put the binomial in a bracket so we have 3 into bracket 7 minus 3y minus 2y is equal to 10 now let's expand the bracket here 3 times 7 will give us 21 3 times negative 3y will give us negative 9y minus 2y is equal to 10. Um, let's group like terms here. So we have negative 9y minus 2y is equal to 10 minus 21. Negative 9 minus 2y will give us negative 11y. 10 minus 21 will give us negative 11. I'll divide both sides by negative 11, negative 11, and negative 11 and negative 11 will cancel each other out, and so we have y to be 1. Remember, we have already made x the subject in equation 3 we have the value of y from equation 3 we know that x is equal to 7 minus 3y but we have just found out that y is equal to 1 and so you substitute the value of y which is 1 into this equation when we do that we will get x is equal to 7 minus 3 times y which is 1 this will give us x is equal to 7 minus 3 times 1 is 3 7 minus 3 will give us 4 so our x is equal to 4 so for the pair of equation given to us the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 1 